with Doll Fight. We had some internet issues before and now it seems to be fine. So thank you, it worked. And um, reintroduce yourselves, ladies. I'm Jane, I play drums. I'm Christine, I play the drum sing. And I'm Kelly, and I play the violin No, I play bass and sing. <laughs> Did you forget, I, Kelly? No, I, the, the mic cord got caught on the chair. Oh, so you're going to blame it on the mic that you forgot who you were? I got all distracted and I'm tired. We drove from Vermont today. You know, you know, you know, yeah, that is, a, that is, that's the wrong way. How long was the, wait, are you from Burlington? Yeah, yeah. I live north of Burlington. I live towards Canada. Like how far from Canada? Um, about an hour from the Canadian border. Have you been? Uh, yeah. I, I used to work driving to and from Montreal. What, were you smuggling? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I was working for Avis. <laughs> really? Wow. So like... What'd you do? Like you brought a van or a car like back and forth? Like, that's it. You make it sound a lot more interesting than it was. <laughs> So like you're from England though, so you you had to get used to driving on the opposite side of the road. What was that like? Um, it was pretty easy because the automatic cars would take a lot less effort to drive, and uh, there's really not very many roundabouts or sort of complex traffic. Do you ever look the wrong way when you're like going? Never. <laughs> wow. Have you ever driven on the wrong side of the street? <laughs> um, no. Not that you remember. Yeah, not that I remember. No, I don't think so. And what about you? Not, not that I know of for me. I don't have a car of my own, so I don't really drive a lot. Although, I have seen um, plow trucks go the wrong way down the one-way street. Wait, Burlington. so you live in Vermont and you don't drive? No. I, li I mean, I live in Burlington, which is a, a big enough town that you can get around. Are you from there? No, I oh, you're from I Connecticut, Connecticut, you said. Where in Connecticut? The northeast corner. It's the quiet corner, Wyndham County. Is that near Vermont? It's near Massachusetts and okay. it's Rhode Island. But you gotta go Mass through Massachusetts and west to get to Vermont. And you don't drive? No. Is there a reason for that? Um, I mean, I, if you're from Manhattan, I understand, but if you're from Connecticut, I don't. Cars are expensive. Okay. I ride a bike everywhere. Okay, so you were a kid, you didn't care about getting your license? No, no, I have I have a license and I used to drive when I lived oh, in Connecticut. Okay. Right. I just, when That's I moved different. to Burlington, I did That's know, different. Like, All right, yeah. then, then I get it. What about you? Where are you from? I'm originally from Massachusetts. Okay. A southeastern Mass town called Norton. All right. So you are from England and you recruited New Englanders into your project, <laughs> right? Is that right? Um, yeah. Although I actually, my parents are English, but I actually grew up in Scotland, so uh, always, always moving around. And when did you move here? Um, to Vermont in two thousand eight, to Illinois in two thousand four. So uh, not not quite fresh off the boat anymore. <laughs> are you? Is your family here? Um, my husband's here. He's from Chicago. Um, my my parents and siblings are still in the UK. So what's something about doll fight that you would want people to remember? And, and the question passes. Maybe like the Japanese movies that Where'd you come up with the name? Well, I'll answer that with the original question. I mean, I think you just want people to remember our music, really, that we're really about the music more than everything else. Um, and we uh, we just finished recording our our EP, which uh, you can find online our website dollfight.com. Um, so yeah, we definitely want to be all about the music. So you guys playing a lot of gigs in Vermont? Are you a local kind of you're like yeah. local famous girls? <laughs> We're getting there. You got your um, fans on coming to your shows up there. Yeah, yeah. Shout out have... to the Natch. Yes. <laughs> yeah, How'd you meet them? The How did you meet them? Um, that was an interesting story. Actually, I, I was um, <laughs> writing a series for TomTom Tom magazine uh, okay. in New York about uh, pregnant drummers. Sure and so right. I was yeah. on the internet looking for, <laughs> for mums who drum, and there's really not very many of them. And uh, sure. Trish of the Natch um, was in a few of my series. And then, uh, Yay! <laughs> um, and she seemed really nice, and we liked each other's bands, and so we did a, a show together um, up in Burlington last Thursday. Yeah, on St. Patrick's Day, and yeah. it tr they have the most adorable little baby right now, Trish and Chris. I know, love those guys. Do you guys know the mothers from England? Do you know the mothers? You should look them up. Do they have mums on drums? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the mothers. The mothers. The mothers. The mothers. The mothers. 
lettuce? Yeah, because we do Mama Palooza, and um, you yeah. should actually check it out. Mama Palooza's coming around in May, and but we'll talk about that later. We're talking about doll fight. Are you? Are any of you moms? Not yet. No. Only Trish. Yeah, the Nash. Is the moms on drums? There's plenty of moms. Um, oh yeah. We're just we just sometimes keep it under the radar, you know. Oh yeah. Yeah. So um, dolls have doll fight website. How do people find you? Do you have it? And it would be great. Do you guys have a shared skeleton yet um, in the repertoire of doll fight? <laughs> Yeah, have you guys like not done really, anything crazy? Not really a skeleton, but our windshield wiper went out <laughs> in the driver's side today when we were just getting into So then you the gotta seat. get her driving so, on the wrong side of the road. So we, we didn't see anything and Christine was driving, so we, we pulled over off the side of the road and um, we actually took some hot pink duct tape and taped the windshield wiper back to the car so that we could get here today. Hot pink is a theme. She yeah. was wearing that pink jacket out of CBGB's and you got the pink duct tape. I want, it. I want some hot pink duct tape. That sounds awesome. So will you girls eat some Melba Toast, please? I mean, come on, give it up. It's National Melba Toast Day. We will be back with our last guest, um, uh, Miles Manley, and he is another person from the UK. It's another thread of commonness that always seems to happen on our show. And please don't forget the dip. We'll be right back on Rue and Rue. We made it through. Elizabeth Taylor Day.